Hi everybody. If you've been watching any of the videos, you'll have seen me make this card, which is a Father's Day card, but it could equally be any sort of, just change this for a birthday and it's a masculine style birthday card. This one's got map on it. So this is from the chron chronology range from many years ago, probably 10 years ago. They used to um, do like 15 pound bags that had samples of things from different ranges in. So I think this was one of those ones, which is why it says nine free clear stamps. So I've used this whole image on a card before, but I thought I'd just use the circle out of the middle of it because it fits inside this die, which is the same one that I use. So I'm going to stamp this on acetate and then cut it out with this die. So it's going to be the, exactly the same idea, but I think this probably because it's got more lines, it might show you better than this one. So I'm going to use that with the die. And then instead of maps in the background, I thought I'd do some repeat stamping with things like the cogs. This stamp set's Viva Decor, which is a German brand. And I think it's called Old Fashioned. I think that's the name of it. Yeah, Old Fashioned Design. This one's called Old Fashioned Design. That's from Viva Decor. So in the same way that I did last time, I'm going to stamp on my acetate. Now, just to prove that I do just use packaging, I thought I'd show you this. It's really sturdy acetate, which is great for stamping on. Uh, this has got an edge on it, so I just need to cut that off. Now, I cleaned the one I had earlier with some isopropyl alcohol, but I don't think this needs it because this is almost brand new and it's really clean. I don't know if you can hear her, but my dog is lying under my desk and she's snoring. So if there is a little snorey noise going on, it's just my dog. I promise you it's not my stomach. I've got two dogs and my small, the smaller of the two always snores. My bigger dog doesn't snore at all. And it always makes me laugh that it's my little tiny, well, she's not tiny, but she's, oh, helps if you take this piece off when you're trying to use stays on. She's quite small and she snores. My big one doesn't. She's a rescue dog from Cyprus, my small dog. She's called Orca, which is the name she came with. We didn't name her. So I'm not putting ink on this bottom piece because we don't need that. I'm just trying to get a good even covering because this is a bit of a one stop go. I've got more packaging. Let's do it up here. So let's just go for it. Now let's get some good pressure all over. It's quite a sticky ink stays on and you have to use stays on on slick surfaces. There are a few other inks out there that will stamp onto things like acetate, but stays on is kind of the original and the best as far as I know. Okay, let's see. Just hold your breath. This is what I mean by sticky. It tends to stick to the acetate. Hmm. Um. I'm not sure how well that's going to come out because it's left holes. I think, I think we might need another go at that. And the reason I think, because it's got some quite solid bits in it, it's not got those very cleanly. Now I think it's because I'm stamping onto my glass mat and I probably need to, so it's got all the lines really nicely, but I think I probably need something a bit more cushioned underneath. So, I'm not going to clean the stamp for a second, but watch this. Like I said, it's a bit of a one go, but not strictly true. Because we can just clean it off. It's one go in so much as you can't. This, by the way, this is isopropyl alcohol. It's also known as rubbing alcohol. It's just in a spray bottle, which again is a recycled spray bottle. It's not a craft spray bottle. This is one that you can probably tell. I don't know if you can see on the label. This one had a uh, glasses cleaner. I don't wear glasses, but every other member of my family does.
we're going to go with the other idea, which, as I said, was to use a piece of vellum. See, I'm starting to worry that it's, the ink's not sitting very well on the stamp, but we'll see. We'll see. I have used this stamp before. I know I've stamped and embossed it in gold. Yeah, it's a better impression. It's not perfect. But then going on to vellum is never perfect. I'm starting to worry that my plate's bowed actually because it's missing the middle. I may just have one more go with it on a different stamp block. Yeah, that is better. It's better than the first one. Right. I'm going to go with that and leave that to one side to dry. I'll heat set it if I need to later as well. I'm going to take it a bit bigger than A6 to start with. So again, I'm using Catherine Pooler over coffee to stamp this into the background. And I'm just going to randomly stamp all over, off the edges, So what I did last time was, there we go, uh, do a bit of blending around the edges and then I embossed it and did a bit more blending afterwards. So I'm going to do that again. So this is Walnut Stain Distress Oxide, which tones with this particular craft card because craft cards vary from company to company what tone they are okay so on my other card I put it through my embossing folder kind of upside down so on this one because it's 3d it worked both ways but on this one I don't know if you can see but the hexagons are kind of debossed into it so I want them embossed into it, so I want them to stick up. So when I, I can feel on here that they're sticking up. So if I do it this way, it will be the opposite way around to that last one. Yeah, you can see I've got it the right way around. So I did it this way around before, which with nothing on it, it's still really good, but I wanted it this way around, which you can see now all the, that texture. So we've got our card panel with all that nice texture. And this is why I made it a bit bigger, because they tend to shrink a little bit when you're uh, cutting them, when you're embossing them, sorry. So I made it a bit bigger and I want this in the same way that this one has got a nice border around it. I want to make it just under i want to make it about 10 centimeters because a6 is 10 and a half centimeters so i'm just going to cut the edges off this until it's 10 centimeters wide which gives me about a quarter of a centimeter on each side which is a nice thin border and then a5 is just under, it's about 15 and three quarters, it's just under 15 centimetres. My trimmer has got the width, which is A5 width or A6 height, the long side. So I'm going to make it just a little bit, again, about a quarter of a centimetre shorter sorry, about half a centimetre shorter, which is what it's about, just under 14 and a half centimetres. So you'll see it'll sit in the same way with that nice little black board around it. I just do it by eye.
now has this you now you can still see it's the ink's still shiny you should be able to see that catching the light so i'm gonna have to heat set this as well Let's get that a sec to dry and then we're going to ink the edges the same. So that's going to go on there. So the black ties in with the black. Then we're going to pop this one on here. Not decided which way, I like that little bit at the top there. And the Father's Day, which will look better once it's inked around. And then, so we need the happy for the top. So just put something heavy on that while it dries for a minute. Now, hopefully, yeah, I think I've set enough. Just while all the glue on that dries, I think we will do our insert. It's not still not sure it's hundred percent dry, so I'm just gonna leave that open to dry. I've managed to get ink everywhere. Got a little inky blob. Let's see if we can get rid of that. Well, it's not perfect, but it's better than it was. So, so the glue is still drying on the happy. So there's only white bits. So it's just the glue is still drying. So there we go. That's our second Father's Day card. So this one was a bit more, I guess, steampunk with the cogs and the texture. And we used the vellum on that one because we couldn't get it to stamp nicely on the acetate. So on this one. Same idea, but we used acetate for the map, which doesn't show up the best on the screen. But I'm hopeful you can see that there. there. Maybe that's the best angle I can get it to. But it looks really good in real life. So I'll try and take some photos of these so that you can see them and I'll stick them on the end of the video as well. So there we go. That's my two Father's Day cards. This is the one we just made and I'll link the video for this somewhere. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye now.